first of all i'd like to give a big shout out to the hansa for reaching out to me i didn't know how to reach out to me that shit was like a dream because i have known of the answer if you're into filmmaking you know the answer you know who they are they're one of like the coolest color platform you can ever use so when they reached out to me i thought it was scam actually i had to check the email properly and they actually told me to um try out the hands and i was very ecstatic i'm like wow this is crazy like okay i'm just rambling they reached out to me to try the answer and it actually worked so if you want to try using the answer they gave me a promotional code so if you want to support me is nelson egh for 10 percent of any the answer products you get and they also have a cool phone app as well that you can also download and use so enough about them i want to show you exactly how i color graded using the dehancer plugin that was sent to me from dehancer who is dehancer for i'll say if you're just doing regular content creation obviously not really but if you're really into filmmaking i think the answer will be good to take your color grading to the next level i feel like color grading is one of those pillars of filmmaking that you can't overlook like if you really want to get to filmmaking you have to know how to dial in your color grade not to expose your log properly and all that stuff so what the answer does is it gives you like i would say a quick fix but it makes everything easier because it already has halation in there it has like lots of film looks that we're gonna de we're gonna dive into that you can pick from but i would say it's more vintagey like it looks like actual film so if you if you don't like those vintage grainy feel on your films then i'll say the answer may not be for you but i'll say it's worth giving it a try so enough fumbling let's get into the answer all right boom so i in the short film i use premiere pro for color grading i don't use davinci it's not like i don't want to get into davinci but i just i just like using premiere pro so the first thing we're going to do is let me delete this the first thing we're going to do is create an adjustment layer we can do this by going here clicking new item adjustment layer okay then drag that into your timeline and just drag it out. Okay, boom. I'm going to start with this clip. I feel like it's a really cool clip to color grade. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to click on my adjustment layer, go to effects, and I already have the answer here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into on my adjustment layer. And you can see it's not looking very good. So what we can do is the answer has a lot a lot it's so cool it has like all this cool stuff input film film developer film compression expand print color head film grain halation bloom you get the point so what's the cool about the answer as well is that after you've color graded you can basically turn your grade into a lot i know what that is imagine you turning 10 grades into a lot that's a lot pack you can actually make a lot pack <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool we're gonna get into this slowly we're gonna go in one by one so the first thing is input our input says rec 709 so basically rec 709 is what your camera would naturally record in so if you're shooting s log you usually have to get a rec 709 converter for your camera if it's a sony you need to get a sony rec 709 if it's a, if it's a canon and so it, you get the point so here we're going to actually go and choose camera and where it says camera I use a, we're going to scroll down, I'm going to find, I use a Sony A7S3. So I'm going to go Sony A7S3, I'm going to go on the Cine. So automatically, you can, as you can see, this is close to the Rec 709. As you can see, what I talk about is it just makes it look very filmy and, you know, it's cool though. I kind can't, of I can't like it. Then we're going to go to here, wait, exposure, expand. I don't like touching this at first. So I'm going to close input and we're going to go into film. So in here, you have a lot of film profiles you can literally play with and like tweak, which I feel like is pretty cool. That's pretty cool as well. But my favorite is I don't know, one of these Kodaks though. So I'm going to just going to stick with Kodak Vision 250D enabled. All right, boom. We're going to open film developer. And here, for example, look at this. In film developer, if I click on it and go left and right, nothing's happening to my footage. But if I click on enable, that will activate the film developer. And basically, you can now scroll left and right and you can see. Basically, this whole thing is just a slide thing. You just click on what you want and slide left and right to see what you feel like your picture or your film should look like. So basically, we're going to do that. I think that's pretty cool. Not too much. Gamma, I don't even know what all these things mean, to be honest. <laughs> I just be dragging it until I feel like it looks cool. Okay, color boost, I think that one is okay, not too much. Make sure you are dragging it with sense. Like this one, film compression, I'm going to click on enabled. Then I'm going to start playing with it. So impact, tonal range, color density. Okay, film compression. We're going to go to the expand. It's already enabled. So we're going to see what this is. Black point. Print. Print is pretty cool. You can print um, different films on your own footage. So I'm going to see what Fuji film looks like. Kodak 
print film pretty cool glossy glossy is pretty cool actually i don't think i want to use any i'm gonna leave it leaner color head click on enable then we're gonna go left and right to see i think this one just like gives your color different separation between yellow and blue green and magenta cyan and red and all that so we can play with that too then we're gonna go to film grain is already enabled there are different focal lengths for your film grain but i think the lower you go the more grain you have and the higher you go the less grain you have in millimeters then we're going to go to halation i love halation enabled enable same thing lower you go the more the halation on if you can see it the more the halation higher you go in millimeters the less the halation for the bloom you're going to enable it the bloom is pretty cool because it's kind of softens the image as you can see so this is it switched off and on if you can look at his outfit right here switch it on and off beautiful then film damage going to enable it it just basically creates this artifacts on the screen like as you can see if i play the footage you see like dirt on the screen basically so we're going to skip gate weave we're going to go to overscan we're going to click on enabled and overscan is pretty cool you can click on any of this vintage um, outline you want on your videos pretty cool you can make the edges neat you can sharpen them you can make them round change from vertical to horizontal i think this one is pretty cool as well i actually like it it's very like customizable but everything is like i told you just drag drag and slide that's basically what the answer is the beauty of everything is when you're done you can make it export it as a lot bro that's beautiful like now i have this as a lot i can sell to you guys I'm gonna make a lot with this so basically that's it now that i've done that for that i like to get general color theme of the whole footage i go like to go into each clip and now tweak it to my liking so yeah that's it and thank you the hands up for sponsoring this video if you want to support me kindly use my discount code below 10 percent off if you use code nelson thank you i'll see you in the next one